Juliet, and I'm here at the Syracuse College Fair and asking questions of admissions reps. Questions like... I think college fairs are a terrific opportunity for students and their families to really learn about different colleges and universities that might be scattered around the country that perhaps they wouldn't have the opportunity to uh, run into on just a, a regional fair or if they were visiting colleges in just one specific place. Um, certainly, depending junior, senior, sophomore, may not necessarily know what they like to study, so I think a fair gives them a terrific opportunity to learn about different academic opportunities that many different universities can offer and learn more about financial aid, scholarships, and maybe start narrowing that list down. Um, I think they're important because it can give you a lot of access to a lot of different colleges and a lot of different people at the colleges in, a, in one fell school. You know, I think it's really important for juniors to make sure that they go to one early on so they can kind of collect as much as they want, talk to anybody, be really open. Um, and I think being open is really important. I think that if students are kind of led by their parents or a boyfriend or girlfriend, they're limiting themselves when they go to a fair. So just making sure that, you know, you're being really kind of open to different options at different tables and whatnot. I think it's important for families, especially for students that aren't able necessarily to travel to a college, whether the resources or it's just more difficult to get to see a lot of schools in the place. I think students that come productive, or that come to fairs prepared, have the right questions available. Um, they come prepared with their either their student cards or they have little um, stickers. Um, they ask the right questions, like tell me more about a program, not do you have psychology. All right. Well, uh, I recommend not just going right up to a admissions counselor and saying, uh, you know, how is your psychology program or how is your criminal justice program I guess I don't know I mean getting more creative with your questions maybe too introducing yourself uh, telling, uh, telling me a little bit more about you and what school you go to is a great way to, to start the uh, introduction. I think one of the most important things for college fairs in particular is getting to know the counselor. Um, I think the best piece of advice that I can give to prospective students and their families is that if you're really interested in a college your admissions counselor is going to be your most valuable resource. Um, they're going to have information about the college. If you feel as though your application or grades might not be as good as they should be, they can advocate for you if they know of your situation. Um, so I think it's most important to contact your counselor and build a relationship with them. Make sure that you're asking the questions and it's not all your parents. I mean, your parents can ask the questions too, but make sure that, you know, when I talk to a student, I'm typically trying to direct my questions to them and making sure that I'm asking, you know, what are you interested in? you know, like kind of have them guided a little bit. It's scary talking to strangers, I get that, but you know, I just want to make sure that, it, you know, the student has a voice there and the parent can be there as kind of a coach to say, okay, well, we, we forgot about this, let's ask about this too. So. Any funny stories? Oh man, I have a great story. Uh, I was in Philadelphia. This has nothing related to the college fair, I guess, but uh, I checked into a uh, hotel room in Philadelphia, and uh, I left to go eat dinner with my cousin at one point, and when I came back, uh, somebody had moved in all of their stuff into my hotel room, and so I freaked out, and I thought that uh, there might be somebody in the shower ready to kill me or something, so it turns out that this person just moved all their stuff in and left, and uh, I don't know, it was really creepy, so I had to move out and get to uh, another hotel room, so life on the road can be tough sometimes. <laughs> A funny question from a parent. A parent asked if the campus safety officers were able to taser their students that are out of line, and I said no, and he seemed very disappointed by that. I have other students that come from kind of stringent Catholic schools, and they ask if there's a curfew. Sure. Uh, others have asked, for example, I'd like to be a judge. That's terrific. So at most schools, you have to start off with pre-law. Nowhere can you just start off doing law as a, as a bachelor's degree. No, I don't really want to do that. Well, well, after that, you do have to go to law school. You don't necessarily have to do pre-law. I'm not interested in the law school aspect so much, but I would eventually like to become a judge. Okay, well, you might have to do a little research on your own and figure out the path that's best for you.